cool. Tiana, why do you keep pulling my tea towel down? You're a bad girl. Hello, people. Hi, Marina. I can't hear you. Marina is AFK too. Anybody? I think so. I think so. Oh. Uh, hmm. Pass. She probably doesn't even know. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. I don't need commercials on my own videos. This is where I could see chat. Okay. Oh, I need to mute. <laughs> Really? Hi, Mary says, hi, Ruby. Debbie says, is she on hi, yet? <laughs> okay. I'm on, but I gotta find a way to watch chat. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, it's gonna have to go this way. It's the only way I get. Can you all see me? Hello, anybody? Hello? I see you. Tiana, no. Go down. I see you. <laughs> well, of course you do, Livia. <laughs> but I'm Debbie, Mary, can you see Ruby? No. Mary sees the board. The board. Yeah. Okay. The, so you the, see that? Yeah. Just Are you your table. Internet issues because you sound choppy, or is it me? Just your table. Okay, well, I want you to see my table. Hello, I'm right here. This is me. Marina's below me. This Hi, Yvonne. Side. Yvonne's here. Hi, Yvonne. Well, okay. you can go full screen if you want. Sorry. You can go full screen if you want. in and out wonder why I said, just put you on full stream marina's not there at the moment oh oh i'm gonna go put myself on full until yeah. i see so i hear marina How's that? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I've been working on a lot of stuff over the last couple weeks, and it's slow going, but I'm working. I do a little bit every day because I can't, I can't sit for forever, you know. So I worked on this butter churn. I made it um, out of a pill bottle. <laughs> and popsicle sticks this tinfoil that i put around it then i painted it and i mod podged it and it's going to go on one of my little shelves that i'm going to get to today but this one i'm working on right here this is cans that i used yesterday sauce so these are my tomato sauce cans this is my tomato can this is my tomato paste can so what I did is I cut the both rings off, smashed them outside the hammer, banged them all down, and then I bent them up. So nothing can fall out of them. You see, they're closed. So I thought, okay, a hanging thing for them. So I just gave them a couple coats of chalk paint. That's all I did. And this here is painter sticks. Now I went to Home Depot. And here are my painter sticks. <laughs> these are from Home Depot. So I got three painter sticks. And these ones here are just thin uh, sticks from Dollar Store. And they're actually planter sticks. So you would put 
them inside a plant and label your plant with them. They came in a package, right like this. I got all Good morning, my Sandra. They're called Sandra's plant with us. Hi, Sandra. Oh. Good morning. So this this is what I did here, and then all I did is took my scissors and cut it. That this these cut with scissors. They're like a pop. Mary stick. says, "How utterly clever!" Like I said, we've missed your talents. Aren't they cute? So anyway, awesome. that's what I did, and then I decoupaged it with some napkins that I got from the buck store, and then. And I just whitewashed it a little bit just to mess it up a little. And then up here is going to be this sign that says love grows here. So my whole idea here is to put these on, on the racks. So put them in. Tracy's, yes, so so studios. So like this. And then I'm going to put flowers in them. And a fake flowers, Cute. of course. And I'm just gonna uh, strap them down in here. So, but right now I need to paint the letters. And I got these letters from the dollar store as well. So these are pretty cool. They came in a nice wooden box, like so. They could make um, the lovely. The entire alphabet is in a wooden box. Quite a few of each letter. So. Have you thought about putting herbs in your tins? Plant herbs. Say what? Plant herbs. Oh, well, I could, you could actually plant real flowers in there. There's nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing's going to leak out of them unless you over water them. But I would be scared of water seeping through here. Okay, so I want to distress these a little bit because I want them to look old and rusty. That's the whole point of this. So right, let me. We've got. Tracy's Great. joined us, Sandra's joined us, and Rajul's Hi, joined us. Hi, Tracy. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Marina. Hey, there's Marina. So this yeah, is what uh, I do to discuss. Make I had to put on a new patch, and I wanted. Um, I had to put on a new patch, and I wanted a cup of coffee. So. Okay. So I'm just distressing this very, very ever so lightly to make the end of this look kind of rusted and just very ever so lightly gonna hit it with some brown paint just to make it dirty and old and rusty looking. Yes, Sandra. Love your creative mind, Sandra says. Like so. I want them to look weathered, used. Oh, Rajul, I'm sorry. Rajul has lost two family members this last week. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that, Rajul. Two family members last week. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rajul. That's so sad. Yes. So sad. So yeah, that's the, the look I'm going for. Just to dirty them up. Even up here a little bit. I'm not gonna be fussy. Just whack it with some paint. There we go. That, I like that. So there. Looks like a rusty, old, dirty can. Uh, she had a dad's funeral yesterday and her cousin's is today. I'm sorry, Rajul. Oh, that has got to so be hard. Yeah, that is got to be hard. So there's the other one. Really fast and easy to muck it wow. up. Yeah. Just a little bit of paint. And you don't want them all to look the same. They all wet differently. So. 
Yeah, it I would like be a nice little reason. packet for like herbs and things like that. Yeah, but I don't don't have I don't I, I don't really want to put real plants in these. But it would look would make beautiful herbs. Beautiful, see? Yeah. Easy peasy. That mess it up. Easy. Yes. Just like that. Easy. Yes. Now, I'm really not liking this, so I'm really thinking I am just going to paint this some chalk. I don't like this, so I'm just going to cover it. I don't like all the green and colors, so I'm just going to paint it, rough it, kind of like dry brush, basically. But it got texture on it from the decoupage. Mm -hmm. So that's good too. Gonna leave some areas light, nest. Yeah, it's um, weathered, the weathered look. What? Weathered look. The weathered look. Yeah. Whoa. Get, move that out of the way. Oh, I am okay, sitting here making tags, eggs, tags, mm -hmm. and paperclip uh, embellishments. Oh wow, tags oh, and paperclips. I've got lots of those in my life. Yeah, I um, I had made something else, but it's too big and too thick for the book, so I had to change it up to a tag. So I'm sitting here making them. Cool. Oh. Yeah, I think like that better. It's like an old, old weather, dirty, old boards. I like that. Yeah. And I am using chalk paint because it, it covers better than acrylic. Well, it's also so quicker. Paint. Dries faster. And dry fast. Yes, I agree. I rather have it in this dark brown it will really stand out on the wall nicely we got our new bed this morning and that's why grumpy's falling asleep i've made him work oh nice new bed cranked, cranked the heating up a bit He's in front of the radiator watching TV, snoring. I went, yes, I'm sneaking away now. <laughs> <laughs> He's not oh, used to being awesome. stuck in the yeah, house. Yeah. So I'm just kind of trying to paint here. In these little cracks, I'm not doing the greatest job, that's for sure. But hey, having fun decorating my house. You should see the stuff I've made <coughs> and what I'm making so far. Don't have Sandra says, Did you see my new sewing machine finally came in? I have been having so much fun learning all the features on it. Wow. So now you've got another sewing machine, Sandra? Lucky duck. Well, she ordered that one because the other one broke, and I think she managed to fix it. But she'd already ordered oh. it. Right. Okay. There we go. I think that looks pretty rough. You see, it's not that great. And I am gonna give it a little dry. This chalk paint super fast. Okay. 
Uh, sometimes it does. Only when you want it to, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I think I just have it <laughs> thick in some spots. <coughs> but I'm okay with that. It just likes to prove people wrong. Mm -hmm. But I like how fast it dries. But... I think Martha might be trying to message us. Okay. What? Martha may be backstage. Okay, tell her to hang on. I got to go to my living room to go better because I can't do it on my iPad. I don't have privileges on my iPad. Imagine that. Oh, I like that better because now, now these wooden or these tins stand out better on it see that is better yeah sandra says yes my old one was a hand-me-down from the 1960s the new one was ordered in january but was on back order until now okay i'm gonna go add martha if she's there still okay Martha is not backstage. She's playing picky boo with us. All right, hang on a minute. I'll read what she wrote. Yeah, I don't see her. Oh, she just wrote a good morning gift. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way for now. Paint my letters. The brown. I'm We're both that. She back. says, I'm backstage, but hang on a minute. I've got to go and put a new patch on. Okay. Yeah, I already did. Oh, that's, that's you. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the M. I thought, oh, Martha said it. No, as far as far as I know, Martha's still smoking. So, okay, doc. Have you given up smoking, Marina? I have. I have been smoke free since November. Very good. So I'm, but I'm I'm still using the patches. I'm still going, um, the pat like couple times a week so but the patches are every day so i'm really happy about that slow and steady you'll do it yep yeah my daughter uh, wow like her within the first two weeks she had already quit she quit the gum she quit, uh, sorry she quit the patches and everything the only thing she's doing now and that's when she gets extremely stressed that she'll have a couple of gum and that's about it but as far as the patches and stuff goes, she didn't need it after the first week. I, I don't, I, diabetic, I can't have gum and it doesn't taste nice. I'm diabetic as well, so it's not too bad. But I can't do it. I can't chew gum because of my uh, dentures. So um, there is a company in the States that makes um, a gum that I can use. And a couple of people have sent me some. So... I've been using that, but I like nice. I like the the lozenge, the the, the nicotine lozenge. So Got you. Very strong, but it gives me just enough of a hit. That. Um, Good morning, Martha. She's in the chat. Keeping me steady. Okay. Good you morning, Martha. Age, Miss Martha. There we go. All right. I've been I've quit searching, yeah. They're not there. So, I tried. And I still love the smell of it, but I just don't want one. Yeah. That is, on cigarettes you're talking about, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm the exact same way. I still want one, but I can't stand the smell of it anymore. 
Oh, I'm the opposite. I don't want one, but I love the smell. Ah, uh, yeah. If, no. I, if I see people smoking, I'll go up to them and say, I'm just having my fix. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I can't handle it at all. I I still want a cigarette and I still, yeah. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Martha is asking what you're doing, what you're making, Ruby Doobie. She was late to the party. I am making those flower pots. Remember the one I hammered with the cans, cans when I was making my spaghetti sauce yesterday? Okay, so that's the first one. Oh, that came out that's so beautiful. Doing, Martha. Now, there's the second one. I'm just spelling some words to put on. Um, Grow your love here. <laughs> What? Grow your love here. I know it's love grows love here, but here. <laughs> Martha oh. says, "Oh yeah, cool." So if we can read through the back of the inside. One more, and then I gotta go wash my fingers. They are like literally painted brown. <laughs> Uh, and I got white ink inside my diamonds, that chalk paint, and I dried it with the dryer. So I'm having a hard time getting the paint off my rings. Soak it in, soak it in uh, a tad of toothpaste. Um, huh? And yeah, soak it in toothpaste or mouthwash, and it'll help break down the uh, the chalk in the paint. Oh. All right. I gotta do something because they're bad. There. That's just not good. Thank you, Mary. And when you dry good it, good morning, it, Jan. It seems to become more permanent. It's a bitch to get off if you keep doing it. So you gotta be, uh, sure that's where you want it because you're going to keep chalk paint. I always wear gloves so I don't have that problem. Um, Jan's with us this morning. Is Martha backstage yet? Martha, you're backstage yet? Morning, Tracy. We've got Jan and we've got Tracy. Okay, so I'm going to leave those there, and I'm going to paint this white so that the wording shows up nicely. And then I'm going to trim it in some... Uh, you didn't wash your brush. She said no. Okay. Ruby, you haven't washed your brush yet. Yes, I did. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I washed it at the same time I washed my hand. <laughs> I just saw the line there. Oh, hang on. And I got these little cheap thin boards for the box store, which will serve the purpose very well. I don't have to worry too much about the sides because I'm going to wrap jute around it. Okay, and I'm going to dry one side so I can touch it. <laughs> Dries really quick. And I'm quick. Jan's joined us and Tracy's joined us. Hey, Jan. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Good morning, Jan. Hello, everyone. Uh, see, now I can touch it. Wow, that quick. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put a second coat here. One good thing about 
about farmhouse decor is you don't have to be perfect. I like the, the little blackboard things you did. See where I did the second coat here. Missed the, the spot there. Easy peasy. And then I'm going to sand it to, whoops, to distress it a little bit. Look at what I've done to my heat tool. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one in my shopping basket on Amazon. That's uh, dripping there. And now it's dripping here. Goodness gracious. I'm going to dry it really good. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of sanding to distress it, make it look old, leather. Looks good to me. Looks good so, to sand. that looks so there it's a uh, weathered a little bit yep yeah it looks good all right so I'm going to glue some jute on it now oops I think I will put thin jute around this one. The other ones have got a lot of thick jute. So we'll just use the thin stuff. Boy, I can't see without my glasses, but hey, do our best. Oh, Tracy. Tracy says it's lovely seeing Ruby and everyone. I've missed you all. And I'm using my big glue gun because I do a lot of gluing and those little 
ones don't help. And this one here is a cordless one. But I never unplug it, so I never need to do it. It's got right there. Oh, I think that looks good with the juice. Yep. very thin this board so I just have a little kind of lip there to work with which Tracy says Ruby you have made gorgeous things well scissors and I'm going to cut that on an angle so I can bring it up and join it that way. Right up like that. And then I cut this one off exactly the same. So that's how you would join your jute without a bump there. Nice. Yeah. There's my swing. I love it. We're going to probably put flowers on it. Some greenery, maybe. I don't know. Something. Let's have a drink of coffee. Yay. So for these letters, we're going to use wood glue and... First of all, I'm going to do the word here. So I want to kind of center it. Like right there, I think it's perfect. So I'm just going to put a little bit of wood glue. Very little. A little bit there, a little bit there. And some hot glue. So long term, ouch, short term. Oh, Debbie says we are going through a little scare right now. Hubby came home sick a few days ago, called into work, and they made him get tested. We are both in quarantine until he gets the results. Yep. Debbie. Oh. oh. She's in on Debbie, fingers too. crossed. Fingers crossed, Debbie. I hope it's not. I hope it comes back negative. Yep, I do too. I had a flu for a week and I thought, oh, I didn't like that. So you can see I'm just putting a little bit of wood glue that way over time the um lettering will fall off and some hot glue so we can get it to stick quicker oh he had his first shot a month ago my daughter the nurse got her first one yeah and how is she feeling mm -hmm. she's fine oh Happy birthday, Patsy. Is Patsy in the house? Nope. Patsy, Patsy can't get hers yet. Right now we're only on 85 and up and frontline workers, nurses and stuff. Oh, Martha's saying happy birthday, Patsy. Oh, right. It's Patsy, Pat's birthday today. It's March 11th. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that this morning, but I haven't written on her Facebook yet, but I will. There, got that. 
now. Brown paint. It's a little bit damp. Uh, we were back, guys. I got somebody at my door. Okay. Yep. I heard that. Whoa. Yes, yeah, seven o'clock this morning. They delivered my bed, and oh, I had to have it all set up. Nice. It's pretty early when they come, though. Holy cow. Well, it was a, a foot. <laughs> We've waited for it since November. Because it was oh. made to order. They, they don't make a load up for storerooms. They make them to order. And it was delivered this morning. Right. Grumpy's very tired and asleep on the settee. Trace, that is awesome. Trace is Olivia and Ruby. I finally got peace. I find I finally getting peace. Got to get a restraining order for Hubby's family to stay away. Finally, I can get on with my life. Nice, good for you, Tracy. And Martha says, "Happy birthday, Jan." Jan, it's Jan is your birthday too. Happy birthday, Jan. Happy birthday to you. Squat tomatoes and stew. I'll not finish that. You don't look like a monkey. Many happy returns, Jan. Arthur's on the ball today, knowing everybody's birthday. One more word. I already know where I'm going to put these. So. Oh, Jan's hitting the big 71 years young. Good for you, Jan. At what age can you start switching the numbers around? You know, be a little bit dyslexic. Right. <laughs> dyslexic. Oh, yeah. They say the, the words the wrong way around. Oh, Debbie says, and not a day over 51. <laughs> oh, Deb. Yep, me too. Oh, and Ron wants to know how to make them spoons. Thanks, pal. What? Ron, he wants to know how to make the spoons. How to make the spoons? Yeah. The, oh. the grandson who sent you the message. Yeah, he's a darn cutie. He wants me to make them. I says, oh, no, that was a friend from Canada. <laughs> you need spoon molds, for sure. Yeah, no. I've got molds coming up my wazoos. There you Tracy go. Tracy says, sorry, guys, got to go. Ruby, love watching you, everything you make. I will watch and catch up later. Stay safe. Take care. Be safe, Tracy. Have a good day. Be safe, Trace. Have a good day. All right, so there's my sign, but I'm not finished with it. I need some greenery on it. So, what shall we put on here? Um, Debbie messages, Ruby, I didn't order the glue because I don't have a visa. 
Oh dear. Oh yeah, she couldn't get them. I think we'll put your face on it. Just a sprig of each. Looks like rosemary. It almost looks like fur, like, like, like a. Um, I don't know why I've got color. herbs on my mind. <laughs> yeah. It does look like rosemary. Yeah. But it's not. Oh, she has okay, a ton of other clues. Oh, what kind of. Get off there. Kind of want that to go like that. I want it to go like that. Something like that. And I'll put a little bow. Maybe I'll put a flower. I don't know. But we are going to have some hot glue here. And let it catch on there. Mary says that's asparagus grass. Oh, we, we okay. actually started our seeds and asparagus is one of them. We started our plants. I live in the country where asparagus is a normal plant around here. Yep. Guess what? What? Well, they found my box. They found my box. Yay. The postman, apparently the postman had dropped the box in front of the door. The maintenance guy was cleaning up. So he saw the door and he tried knocking, but nobody answered. So he took the box and put it away until he can get it back to me. But he'd forgotten all about it. So when I went to ask the actual postman, because he dropped me off my scrapbook.com order, he heard me talking about it, remembered the box, and came and brought it to me. I'm like, yeah. Oh, bless. Yeah. Oh, my God. She sent me gum. She sent me some doilies. She sent me um, a little bow. Oh, my goodness. I'm like, all, right, all I wanted, I didn't even ask her. She just asked me what my address was because she wanted to send me some gum. Oh, nice. We all have awesome followers. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to find a use for these doilies. They are I'm so cute. That's the double flower. <coughs> I think that's too big. You guys think that's too big? Just mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, just a bit. Could see that one from space. <laughs> okay, well, I'm digging in my stash here. Flowers. Oh, look on Google Earth. <laughs> There's rubies. Look at the flower. <laughs> All of them are pretty big over there. Uh, oh, wait. These are small. This will look nice. Get in there. Let me grab one of these. There we go. The little mum. The mum will fit in there perfectly. Yes, perfect. Yes, it is perfect. So Martha says maintenance man needs to leave things alone. <laughs> Oh, at least he, he, he put it safe. She got it. Yeah, he just forgot about it where he put it. He put it in the... I'm kind of happy he did because I live, I live in a non-secure building. But mm -hmm. so far, I've been really lucky. I've gotten everything. Like, nobody has really taken anything. So I'm really surprised. But he's really, really kind, and he's helped me a lot. So he just figured that, you know, he didn't want it to get lost and stuff.
but I'm so happy I got the gum because I cannot buy it here. Yep, Ruby's making our little bowl. got lost. How did you get lost? It got lost. Sorry. <laughs> I see you were with Seal and Ozzy yesterday. Very cute. Very cute. Yep. All right. With that. Now, on these hands, where is my brown marker? I'm going to write numbers on them. That's the white marker. Where's the brown? So I'm just going to write numbers. This is number one. Yvonne says, very cute. This will be number two. These are furniture touch-up markers in the brown. Oh, mahogany color. Love them. Number two. It's a little thick. Should probably thicken this one a little too. So they all match. Ruby, how many times have you stuck yourself with the goo gun? I just did it. <laughs> Lots. Actually, I just burnt myself yesterday. I got it. Look at the bump right there. See it? <laughs> Ouchie. Yeah, I just did it. 
I was doing the paper and clip and I slid, I slid down the paper clip and forgot the glue was the hot glue was in between the paper on the paper clip. Yeah, all over my hands. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now, close that. Let's bring this back up. And I'm going to have to drill some holes. Oh, watch your flower. So this one's going to go down here. So we're going to drill holes in there. And then I'm going to wire it on. So I'm going to drill two holes. Oh, that's where number four is going to go. So let me get the drill. I really, really like that's going to be. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that's going to look up there. Look. Perfect. It's so perfect. Like I got perfect. Perfectly gorgeous. Yep. All right, and I also need a piece of wood. I'll be right back. I've got to grab a piece of wood. That's a big drill. <laughs> That's what he said. Uh -huh. I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> I went. I always go there. <laughs> Lisa said, didn't say all the better too. No. <laughs> You're right back, guys. I gotta put tea outside. She's at the door. Okay. Come on. Hurry up. I swear, some of these ladies that make these paper clips and stuff are freaking ingenious. Come on. That they figured out the logistics. I just follow it. Yeah. of Grumpy's walk up yet. Yeah. I left him in front of the TV snoring his head off. going to be fun because I'm drilling through metal. Oh, where did I put that piece of board? Oh. Make sure you wear some safety glasses. I don't need safety glasses. I'll put my regular glasses on later. <laughs> I'm busy. <coughs> so I need a drill bit. We'll use that size enough to get a piece of wire in. Hold your ears, ladies. Here's some power tools. What's that? Sin, hold your ears, ladies. Here comes the power tools. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing about this. You've got to use power tools. I'm right handed, so want to put two holes right about there. I pushed the drill bit in. <laughs> okay, I want to make sure it goes in the right freaking place. Oh, 
Okay, I think this battery is, is shitty. Yeah, you may have to get a new battery. What? You may have to get another battery. Yep. It sounds like it's, uh, it's dead. There we go. <laughs> yep. Now Not I'm quick. Now I mean business. Okay. Let's just this way. Put this back on here. Where we're going to drill it. Jeff, I need your help. Why is this drill bit not staying in here? Is there an adapter for this? Uh, nope. No adapter. No. Okay. Well, it's not not working for me. Have you tightened the chuck up? knocks down again i can't win i'm not sure you might have to have a special drill bit to go through metal these do go through mm, okay there we go all right we got it there's my two little holes now watch out kiana i grab some wire and I'm just using floral wire because it's easy to bend. And I'm going to come up through a little hole I made here. Hang on. Like so. See? We can just see the big tools. I know. Perfect. And I got wire. Yeah. Here. And then I'm going to put it down through the second hole, wherever that may be, to hold this planter on. Oh, that's the problem. Only one wire went through that hole. There we go. Go. Okay, so at the back, let's put this straight. Martin says, no, them little bits work. Okay. And then I'm just going to twist this like so. Good and tight. And then I'm going to bend it over and then I'm going to take some Where's my plier? Okay. Hello, where are you? There's so much stuff here, it's not even funny. Okay, you got it. And I'm going to snip that off. I'm going to push this down more. And then I'm going to throw some hot glue on that. Just because I don't want it to scratch on my wall. You just want to let that hot glue dry on that, like that. See? Cool. So when this is hanging on the wall, this isn't going to start making scratch marks on it. Yeah. So there's one planter on there. Cool. Good morning, Dai Dai. Morning, Dai Dai. Get yeah. the bed. Uh, <laughs> Oh, so loved. Every time she comes in, get the bed. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. in her time. That's actually a pretty good time. I'm usually up at 5.30, so there we go. Number three is going to go right here. Like so. 
kind of like, yep. Okay. She'll be watching from her bed. Well, there you go. That's much better. It's just sliding. It's sliding away. We broke this, the drill bit. Very good. <laughs> Great drill bit, Jeff. Wow. It broke. <laughs> it snapped. All right. Get another one. I can Better hear one. the men. Women and power tools. Doesn't mix. Try this one. See if I can break another one. This one's a little bigger though. <laughs> DC seven five nine. Ooh. You know what I'm gonna do? Where is my nope. Maybe you could just poke this with a poke. I was tool. just gonna suggest that. Put <laughs> a hole with the nail and then try putting the uh the drill bit through. Yeah. And I was just going to well, say that's also what he said. <laughs> just going to poke this. <laughs> I don't even need a drill bit because my poke went right through it. See? Went right through Oh, wow. It. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't need no power tool. So I can just poke it right through the wood. I'm not touching that one. <laughs> I'm expecting Martha to come on and shout at me. <laughs> Ruby, Martha says, go through the back of the can first, then mark the wood. Oh, good work, Martha. I don't need it now. And besides, if I do that, the pokey stuff will be sticking out of, out on the can part. Because when you push pressure through it, the little pieces of metal will poke on the inside and that could get hurt. Martha so says hammer and nails work best. Yep. Yes, but I don't need it. Pokey tool worked. And that's my sewing one. Better than the Tim Holtz one. But the Tim Holt, Holtz one just capped in. Just to wire it in here. And there. And there. Pull these down. Push that down with that. Get it nice and snug. And then wrap it. Perfect. See how the hot glue kind of bumped right there? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That means that that glue is going to hit the wall and not my, not that wire. Two down, two to go. That was so easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. So, while that's glue's drying, I'm going to poke holes in this one. That move though. 
makes a hole. Oh, Mary says, good Lord, a huge storm is blowing through. That one's done. Okay, so this one. You be safe, Mary. It's going to go right here. On there. Right about there. So, we are going to poke a hole in the wood so I know where they are. Oh shit. Am I supposed to see those holes? I don't. And this actually makes a good size hole. Okay. I mean, I could have glued them, but how secure is that, that glue going to be? Especially with metal. I don't trust. I don't trust glue with the metal. Let that one dry. Now we got to poke the little can. That's a tomato paste can. <laughs> yeah, this pokes through quite easily. This one is going to go up here, like so right about there, I think, like that there. Now let's poke this. Hello. That's rubbish that needs to go down and there's some washing.
Good morning, Cynthia. Cynthia's with us. Hi, Good morning, Cynthia. Cynthia. All right, hot glue on that. I'm gonna let that harden up. There. Very rustic looking thing. So <coughs> It may be rustic, but it's cute. Yep. Yep. Get rid of these because I'll get myself all poked with them. Just because I know what I'm like. Yep. <laughs> Just letting that glue harden a little bit. Uh-oh, Grumpy's awake. <laughs> what? Grumpy. Grumpy's awake. Grumpy's awake. Oh, oh Grumpy's awake. Okay. Let's have a look at it. Ooh, I love that. It's very, very rustic. Now, let's glue this part on. Oh, which says, you're let's go down there. I lift it down. What's the matter? Mm -hmm. We ask you what time it finishes. Right. We're going to put glue in here. Linda's with us. Hi, Linda. Good morning, Linda. Linda. Of this glue. So we're talking long term short. And we're going to just put that on. And Linda says, so happy to see you. Well, I'm happy to see you, Linda. Thanks for coming. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's stuck. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's hard for me to show it, but there we go. That is Not cute. Possible. Wow. Now, I want to put some flowers in here. Okay. <clears throat> well, let's start with some greenery. Um, oh, I'm just getting ready to get her COVID shop. Yippee. Uh, I'm going to use some small pink ones, some yellow, this color pink, and some white, and maybe some baby's breath. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have any dangling ones? I need some, I need some of this. Yes, I'm using dangling ones too. <laughs> I so don't I know the technical term to for them. I just know the dangle over the side. <laughs> and I might use some um, boxwood. Okay. So where's my small bit? All right, so I've got an assortment of flowers. <laughs> <clears throat> now, first, me, I want to put the dang stuff first. So, let's see how this will look dangling out of this here. Here. 
I gotta kind of hold it up and look at it. Hmm. The thing is to get it to stay in here. It'd be great. All right, I'm gonna put some glue here, sticks. Just push it on, because the glue is freaking hot. Very hot. I swear it's hotter than, um, than those mini glue guns. Oh, somebody at the door, be right back. Ever the heart. Okay, it's parcel. Okay, this is real. All right, only got this so far. Nothing too spectacular. Stay now for now. Okay, good. Now let's grab a little bit of this stuff. Where is the top part? Okay. No, you're not. I want you to stay right that way. Everything's just popping out of here. Jan got two breakfast this morning because of her birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Jan. Jan. Yeah, Jan's birthday is Patsy's and Pat's birthday. Yeah, Ruby's sister and brother. Now, what else do we want to put on there? I will be right back, ladies. I have to go and eat. Hi, Medea. Medea's with us. Just thinking about that. Medea. See, my wife cutters. 
Right, be right back. It's too long. Get there. Let's put some flowers in there. Have a look, see if oh, that's ready now. And ouch, got glue. I need one more small one front, right about there. So, which one do I want to use? This one looks darn good, so I'll use those three. Don't drip. Yes. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. So there's number one, number four. Now we're done with this one. Number three is going to be yellow flowers. And just some of this. Just piece off. Stick it in here. those two down. that up, push that up, cut these two, yeah. and they're just going to get arranged like so. Let's have a look. That was kind of long, but... Cute. I need to trim this one a wee bit more. It is too long. There we go. I love it. So there is two of them done. Thank you. 
Next one, we will put some boxwood in it. And just do the exact same thing as we did with the yellow one. Just like that. Ooh, I like that. So I'm gonna just glue this down right there. One spot. We will put white flowers in there. I'm gonna have to go get some more. I only have two on this sprig. Shoot, didn't want to do that. Put one white one there. One white one there. I'm going to go get another sprig of white flowers. <sighs> Shoot. I pulled one off. Did it fall in here? Okay. okay. One in the back. Not liking that too much. Tell me. I'm gonna need a long one. Oopsies. There we go. Now I'm gonna go grab some leaves. So all kinds of these. Yes. I've got all kinds of these leaves. And I'm gonna throw some in that one I just did. So I'm gonna grab a branch. Let me grab this one. And I'm just gonna stick it in behind these flowers. There we go. All right. Now, the next one. Um, I think I'll put some of this in it. This kind of stuff. This hangs over nicely. And it is just a small little basket. Cut these off. I'm going to trim that down. I'm going to put a major button in that. Let's see how that looks. Be nice if it would frickin' stay. Now, 
get out hot glue. Of glue strings everywhere. The joys of big glue guns. All right. Now I'm going to put a couple of these in. Then I'll show you guys. Um, let's take this whole stock here. Nope, I don't want all those. Oh, that hides all the writing. You better not do that. Try this piece. I think this piece will work. These leaves are too big. They're just camouflaging everything. So, I could put one or two maybe, but they have to go where I want them to go. One's here. There we go. Kind of like that. In the ponder. Blue string. There, like that. I'm not going to do it in the first place. Okay. So we need you. And I need something to stuff in there because it doesn't look very full. No, it does not. get that leaf to bend over. I'll try. Already wants to bend. Yeah. See if I can get it to completely bend over. Yeah. Nope, don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. Oh, we could use some of this. That would have helped. Too small. So I can't push it on. So what we'll do is we'll take this, put this back on. Put this on. And put that in there. There we go. That's what I need. It's in there. There we go. 
All right. I think that looks beautiful. I like it. I really like it. That is cool. So that's the whole thing. That goes here and there. Now I need a hanger for the back. And that's going to be super easy. Because I'm just going to use some jute twine. Um, good strong stuff, I guess. And we're just going to glue it on the back. just going to leave this to harden, but that's how I put the hanger on. It's not heavy, so I don't need anything really heavy duty. This is just so pretty. I don't want to flip it up. So I'm just going to sit it down for a minute. And I'm going to clean up my mess here I made with all these flowers. I just threw everything on the floor. Who does that? Group. That's who does it. That one's finished. That's good. This is greenery. Okay. Now, this is greenery. These are flowers. These back. I don't want to mess. And I am going to trim off the rope. There we go. I think when that hardens, I'm going to put a little bit more on. So we'll see. to make next? What do I want to do next? I have so much stuff I don't know what I want to do. Clean my glue off. Well, I kind of wanted to make my farm chair but I've got so much stuff to make, I don't even know where to start. And I'm not even shitting you. You should see my table. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, we could make my two little shelves. These. We got from the dollar store. And these were from Michael's and they were a dollar forty-nine each. And I'm kind of thinking when I put the popsicle or the sticks on. I'm going to give this some feet. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so one of each, I'm making two shelves. 
and these are going to house they're just little shelves to house small things so these were $1.49 at Michael's and they say blessed and this one says family wish I could take them right out and not have this piece of wood on it if I cracked it I probably could get it right out I don't think they're glued but then again I'm scared I'm gonna break it so don't want to break it don't want to break it now I need some paper sticks All right. <clears throat> so, if I was to put this here, I definitely need to paint this first because um, they would have to be different colors, right? So you could see the writing. So I think that's what we'll do is paint these first. The boxes and these. So I'm going to paint these white. Well, actually, I can put all this. No, I can't. Oh, I could. Get all this deeper stuff off. Did I take that one off? Yes. Okay. So, grab some pins. So these are going to be how these are going to attach. Like so. Yeah. Um, paint these separately. And then at the back, I'm not going to do this. I need feet to put on there so they stand up straight. So I don't know if the wooden feet will work. These wooden dowels will work. Or. Do I need these? I don't know. I think they're too thick. They're too thick. Hmm. Trying to think. I could always glue the popsicle stick like that or pop the thing and leave room for it this way. Yes, that's what we can do. So I don't need these blocks, but I will need the dowel though. So I want to paint these brown. Paint these white. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. I just need to mark on here after we get these all painted. No, I need to mark them now. this over because my surface is not very flat. So that has to come up about that much. That is three eighths. <clears throat> okay. So I need to put this on three eighths. 
I'm going to measure three eighths. Alright, so I need wood glue. I do it on the outside. I do it that way. Well, if I do it that way, then I can't stand it up. So, yeah. Put some wood glue. Put some hot glue. I'm going to offset it. And I'm going to just roughly guess three eighths. Pretty sure I know what three eighths looks like. Very good. Perfect. Now, grab my staple gun. And I'm going to put a staple in that. Oh, it went through. Too thin. I will take that out because it went right through. We're just going to have to hope the glue, the wood glue holds it. I think it will. Okay, so the next one. Pi, yeah, do you need to go outside again? Are these all bowed. These. This is straight. didn't work. Well, let's put some more. Perfect. Cool. That worked. Now we're going to measure the second shelf. We're going to put it at five inches there. sure if this is going to fit in here. So I won't be able to put too heavy of stuff on here. But anyway. Okay. So I think I will put the hot glue first, or this glue first. And then the hot glue on it. Hot glue. 
put this on really fast. Line it up. Where is the mark? Right there. Right there. And line that up. Way too far over. And that one's too far over. So what you're making with those again, Ruby? Like little shelves. Oh, the little shelves. Yeah. I like that. I think they would look better on an angle, but no. <laughs> but anyway, the glue's not holding. The hot glue. Damn it. Nope, the hot glue won't. You may have to use the Gorilla Glue. I am using both. Oh. Yeah, so I'll glue this side first. Pray it stays. Then put the hot glue here and check to see if that's level. I don't think it is. Right there it is. Okay. Now, put some wood glue there and hot glue. Did they finally finish your bath, your basement, by the way? Yes. Yep, they it's came and concreted right it up. Yeah, it's good. Good. It's all good. And no more knocking your internet out. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Linda says she's going to rate the paint stirs at Menards. And, and then she says she never thought to use those. Yep. We can get them at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. And they're free. No, Home Depot, they are not free. And Home Depot doesn't sell them. Um, as far as I know, the last time I checked, they, they were. But, I mean, they could have changed their policy since then. Nope, the girl gave me three of them. She said, we don't sell those. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, they don't sell okay. them, but they, they'll give them to you if you ask for them. Yeah, but you can only get one per, per, but. Oh, I oh, see. That is so crooked. Holy shit. That moved big time. I don't that at all. Well. It being crooked, isn't that going to add to the beauty? What do you want, Tia? Yes. Hey, baby girl. Do you need to go outside? No. Oh, what do you want, sweetheart? She probably wants out again. <laughs> That isn't much better, to be honest. It really isn't. Where? What part is crooked? Is it the stir stick or the actual container? Oh, I don't know. But this doesn't look good to me. I should have measured everything out. Mm. So off it comes for now. And I will scrape that glue off because this, these are so crooked. And I think that's what threw this off to start with. Oh boy. Oh, the Gorilla Glue didn't. Oh, oh perfect. 
You broke? Relic Zoom might have bonded. It's all right. We could fix it. Just put a little bit of glue here and glue it all back. Yep. We'll use hot glue, actually. That way it will bond it back together very quickly. There we go. Now, we're going to have to measure. So since these are a mess, I don't feel like using these right now. I'm going to clean those up. And those are a mess because I got to take a scraper and scrape all that glue off, or they're not going to lay flush. So I got to go let my dog out, Marina. All right. You can put the camera on me. Staring at. I have to go do that from the living room. Okay. You know, I think I'm going to scrap this idea and I'm going to work on something else because this frustrated me. And yep. I feel like I'm ruining it. It's the first time I've done anything that I don't like. Take a few minute break and get your head on straight and then come back. Not sure if she's going to put the camera on me, but I am just sitting here working and uh, not sure I'm liking what I'm doing, but I'm trying it. <laughs> uh, oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, okay, that's not it either. Okay, which is which? I'm going to this one. Matia. Yep. Yeah. Over here. But yes. underneath here. Cause... Tia, over here. No, wrong way, baby girl. Ah, here. I did this. There we go. Yeah. That'll show me what I'm doing. There we go. I know this is not farm decor, but this is what I'm working on. I'm back. Welcome back, Olivia. Uh, Ruby's just taking Tia out, and uh, she is just taking a few minutes because the thing that she was trying to build did not exactly work. So. Okay. She was just getting a little frustrated, so I told her, just go take a break, clear your head, have a smoke, yep. and then come back, and then it'll fix itself. And I think I may have... Okay, no. So I wanted to show you um, what I was doing right at the beginning of the stream. Look. So I was making these paper clips. So if you pull it off, it's just a paper clip and it's opening up a little booklet. Oh, that's pretty. Yep, it's the uh, Graphic 45 Ocean Blue. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> um, just the paper, just the paper. Oh, okay. You know, for somebody that has beach pictures or has um, cruise pictures, things like that. Okay. So I'm just working on the section, trying to get these pieces to go in because I want to do like a little layer thing. It's the first time I'm ever doing it. So I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. So is that what they call a waterfall? Picture yes. waterfall? Got yes. Yeah. 
to waterfall um, picture maps. And then, but I don't have, or I have the paper, but I wanted to really try this particular um, method where you put just a strip at the bottom of each one. Could you move it up just a little bit so that we can see? Perfect. Sorry. Just all right. Yeah. So I'm just what I'm doing is just making it so that it goes straight down like that. Oh, yeah. 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 That's cool. Yeah. I've, I've seen it done a couple of times, but I've never actually done it on an actual book myself. So I figured let me try it and see what how it comes out. Because I've got um, two waterfalls side by side. The first one's going up and down. The second one's going side to side. There we go. I didn't do such a good job in cutting these things, but oh well. You get the idea of what it's supposed to look like. Yep. <clears throat> I love the anchor ribbon. Uh, our family is all seamen in the Royal Navy and that. Yeah. And I have a clock and at the bottom of it, it's all sailors knots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty old. I just won't let it out my sight. Yeah, so it did screw up a bit. I'm not the greatest. <laughs> so what I'm going to do to cover that up, though, is I'm going to take a bit of my ink. Let's see if I can get it to go so that at least it looks all the same color and you don't see that white. But I've been told a little screw like that, it shows that it's handmade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's not perfect. <laughs> And Bob never. Rose never mistakes. It's always happy little accidents. Oh, look at the octopus at the bottom. <laughs> okay, so this part here. So just there. So we'll need this one here. Not sure if this is a good idea, but at least it masks a little bit of the um, the white. It's not as bold. Yeah, it's not a, it's not as bold. And then I'm yeah. I'm hoping whoever um, gets the album will just be able to cover it up with a picture or something. There we go. That's not so so bad. Uh, is Ruby back or not? Uh. <laughs> she might be because uh, she has to do it from the living room. So yeah, yeah. There. Not the great, not the greatest for my first try, but I like it. You're trying. That's the main yeah. thing. Ah, Ruby's back. Hey, Ruby. You need to put the camera on you. What? You need to put the camera back on you. You have it on th on all three of us right now. So, I don't mind. They could see all. Yeah. Oh, darn it. I, um. uh, I forgot to put the, the magnet. I've been getting into a habit of putting magnets on before I put paper down as soon as I know where it is. And I forgot to put the magnet. Uh Oh yeah. This is what I'm making. This is for my fireplace. I know it seems a bit off, but the all stuff I found while I was cleaning our storage and I thought oh, I can do something with that. So, we need some E6000 glue. So I'm going to down 
because I really want this to hold. want some hot glue that so we want long term short term because hot glue is not forever and this piece here this red glass like I said my living room used to be all red and black so we're going to glue this on just like that and this is going to sit on my fireplace Dang. cool now, this here was a tray that had live, love, laugh candle holders because my living room was red and black. Not going to be black anymore. But we are going to use some more E6000 to glue this tray down. Everything will be joined. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with this tray. I got everything lined up on my fireplace, what I want to do in terms of decorations. I, I took out all my stuff and it's like amazing what I'm gonna do once it's all finished. So again, short term, long term glue, because the E6000 is gonna take 48 hours to cure. So, yep. I want to make sure I get this on even on both sides. And it's overhanging over the box. So this is the contraption we have so far. Just a kind of not quite centered over here. Damn. Okay, so re glue. I don't care what it looks like underneath this glass. We aren't going to see this anyway. Are we not going to? You're not going to see the red? Nope, you're not going to see anything. Okay, so the, that is a lot better. Much better. Now we've got it even. Right. So I'm gonna just bring some glue all the way around. Use it as a silicone talking. You won't see it anyway. Good. We is good. I think we're good. Now that's going to be the back. And this is going to be the front where all the blue is showing. <laughs> it won't. I'm putting ribbon around there. I've got some pretty uh, jute ribbon with lace on it. So, and plus this is getting painted. So, yeah, I have these plastic. They're going to sit on top with flowers in them, and this is all going to be painted. So that's what I'm going to do now: is paint it with chalk paint. Very easy um, decoration. Blue strings off. You guys, are you okay, my girl? Mm -hmm. All right.
be pretty. Blues. More glue. And that's it. Let's do some chalk paint on this baby. I wish you guys could see me better. Damn it. That's why I was saying put, put the camera back on you. If you put it just on you, then you they'll be able to see it. Because I'm not doing farm decoration, so it doesn't really matter. And I am doing nothing. I'm just sat here. I'm just painting this anyway with chalk paint. One good thing about chalk paint, it covers us, it covers everything. Of course, you're going to have to put more than one coat. This might be three coats to get it could be fully covered to get rid of all the color. So that'll be fine. it already so these were just like three different the red thing had rocks in it the red tray had rocks layered on it with candles that sat on top of it with the rocks around it so i mean you know i'm repurposing it same with this wooden okay. box yeah the wooden box the whole point. was that that's the whole point. Recycle, recycle, reuse. Repurpose. Dug this out of my storage and I'm like, oh, I can repurpose, purpose. I got a big plastic of stuff that I'm repurposing. So, you know. I'm going to paint right underneath that too as well. Just because you'll be able to see this part here when you're looking up on the mantle. So everything's got to get a coat of paint. You guys might think I'm weird, but wait to see how this is going to look when it's all done. Yep, you were right, weirdo. <laughs> but talented. So I think doing this way gave it layers, gave it texture, um, made it weird, different. But it's going to look super pretty when I'm done with it. As usual. <laughs> but if you fell in a river, you'd come up with salmon in your pockets. Everything over there has one coat. See if I can get all of this a little bit, and I'm going to give it a second. It's probably definitely going to need a coat. Shit, I want to get paint on these. Remove them for now, just so I don't get splatter paint by accident. Because I'm good at that too. <laughs> I do the same. I'm very good at that. 
I realize this is the back and I don't have to be too fussy fussy with the back, but still, if you're gonna do something, do it right. It's my, my motto. All right, I believe everything is coated with coat of pink. Yes. What do you need now? You can see where I kind of went lobby in spots. We'll fix that. But oh, that's called shabby chic, isn't it? Yeah, definitely he's gonna need three coats. I almost guarantee it. Okay. Very spooky right now. No, Tiana, you little brat. She took off with one of those bowls, those rose bowls. <laughs> You're a little stinky, girl, but I love you. Ow, you're scratching. You took my plaything, I'm going to chew on you. <laughs> you can't drop anything on the floor with this dog. Oh, she's a hoover, is she? A vacuum. I could see a spot on the nest here. I'm going to touch it right now because it is the front. And that's going to be seen. Oh no, I bet you I know what she got. I dropped a roll of ribbon. Oh, I don't even want to go look in the living room. Oh no. Oh. oh no, I see an empty spool. Oh, uh -oh. God. Oh, God. They're definitely going to have to be cleaning up some ribbon. At least that's ribbon and not glitter. Where is it, Tiana? <laughs> In my belly. <laughs> oh. You are so bad. Who did this? <laughs> she runs. At least she didn't wreck the ribbon. I just fucking bought this. Look, this is what she had. Oh, that's what you're going to use. Mm -hmm. Brand new. I just bought this. I only made a bow with it. <laughs> put... Anna, who did this? You're not getting it back. Get out of here. 
Stop <laughs> scratching me. God, I cut her nails and I swear I made sharper. There's an emery board on it. At least she didn't Sweet wreck the down. ribbon. That's all I care about. Stop it. You're hurting me. Okay, so we're going to have to put another coat on this for sure. Probably three for sure. Because I could see already that it still has streak lines. And I don't want any streak on this. Zippo lines. Now. Yeah, it needs three coats. Dang it. I lost a waterfall. Got up and walked. Ah, there it is. Got up and walked away. I don't, I'm not concerned about the back, so I'm probably not going to put three coats on the back. I'm going to paint any more on the back, I don't think. Got one coat, that's enough. Because you are absolutely not going to see the back whatsoever. Because this goes up against the fireplace mantle. But you will see the sides. And you will see underneath that. Definitely got to fix that. Didn't want to do that, set it on the side. That takes the paint off where I just paint it, darn it. But I do have to go there and I'm having a hard time doing it. There we go. Now I gotta fix this. It is quite heavy because they are, this is a glass tray. This red one. Okay, dry this up a bit. See if it requires a third coat. Sure does.
Okay. Yeah, it's still very streaky. I got a, a down from my wrist. Ooh. Now I'm going to put a third coat on and I am going to let it kind of natural a bit because I want to try and do something. Gosh damn it, I got that on my cupboard. Ruby, have you stood up and walked around? Sorry? Have you stood up and walked around? Yeah, she just yeah, took I just yeah, for a Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. Yeah, she just took tea out for a walk. I have to get this. Let the doggy out. I know Marina hasn't stood up and walked around though. Please. No, I'm trying to get this to work. I'm going to be um, getting up in a minute. Good. Yeah, yeah, I was just trying to get this to work. And then once I get it to work, then I'll be able to get up and move. It's just because it's got sticky tape on it. Um, I, I like reminding people you need to walk. You need to stand up. Yep. I totally agree with you there. There we go. There we go. Now, now I got a mark. Which is which, except that I think I buried my pencil. So, so we're going to mark this one side. I'm going to mark this side. And this one's going to be marked up and down. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now I can put them together and I can finish decorating them. All right. I am going to get up. I'm going to walk and I'm going to go get something to eat. Cool. So, Olivia, it's up to you. No problem. <laughs> Everybody's so quiet today. Yep. Tiana. All right, that was an excuse for her to start. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. Gonna give it a little bit of a dry. Tiana, come here. She's so bad. 
Diana! Don't make me get up. Yeah. What are you doing to Tia? What are you doing to our girls? You're so bullying. Do I got to put your collar on? She went right back. See how she listens? Yeah, like all dogs. Tiana! Oh my god, that's such a bad. Oof, that's heavy on the arms. wants to leave home okay i need this what I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to try and get that out all right i need to dry this a bit more it's so All right, I think three coats is going to be enough for it. So what I'm going to do oh, is lift it up and put it under this parchment paper because there's so much wet on these pieces. There we go. And I can move it around if the case needs to be. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Now, I want to see if I can get this family off. I'm just thinking if I cut all the way down, it's going to shorten it. But 
going to be skinnier than I want it to be. So I'm going to go get an exacto knife. Put this paint back. For now. So what's everyone up to? Martha, are you dotting? I'm or beating? I have a harder time getting the paint off my skin than I do off the damn brush. Would um, rubbing alcohol not work? What? Rubbing alcohol, would that not work? No. But I'll tell you what, my arms are raw. I'm scratching them with this scrubby brush. Hmm. Talk about dishpan hands. Yeah. Exactly what I have right now. Ooh, I won't be scraping that ever again. That's very tender skin. Ooh, you'll see it. Looks like a rash on my arms. Oh dear. Why do you hit the post on your new diamond earrings, Martha? Maybe if I score it with the knife. There's a lot of wet paint there, yeah.
Oh, okay. Oh, my arms are all raw. Scrub the paint off. Well, I'm surprised they run so big, uh, so fast. Yeah. Let's see if I could just break it. Uh oh. It's very soft wood. Mm. Very, very soft. I think I'm ready for my bed. I'm yawning. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> see if I can do it this way. Break it off. Wow. Is it really that strong? If you didn't want it to break, it would break straight away. Yeah, it'll break. But because you want it to break, oh, hell no. Don't want to. Oh, jeez. We need some of the glue that they've used to put that on with. They probably used wood glue. <laughs> and Gorilla probably to boot. Mm. Whoa. Blades coming out. Oh, I broke the Y. I knew that was going to uh, happen. Oh. Dang. I need to be careful. All right, Martha, how fun are you going? What? Martha's got to go have fun. Bye, Martha. Martha, Martha Carroll says, hi, Ruby, try your undo on there. Yeah. Okay, I will get it. <laughs> you should try everything else.
<laughs> Print works. Yeah, but if it does work, you, you use so many different ways of doing it, you just loosened it for that to work. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Arthur's got to go and pay taxes. If I could lift it out now. Hmm. Got it started. I got it cracked. Right across here. Ow! Oh, damn it. Where'd the Y go? See? Damn. Broke it right off. Oh dear. you're determined like I am damn it there we go there's always a way <laughs> come on loosen off there there we go Whew. And we did it. Yay. Oh, there was a will. We broke it right there. I'm just going to hot glue it. Pretend it never even happened. Never saw it. But I need to find out which one... Which way this went back on? Eight. So I can glue this on properly. Like that. Okay. Ta da! Look at that. It's all fixed. Perfect. It is perfect. Perfectly gorgeous. That's not quite glued in there. There we go. Martha Carl says good stuff like E6000 does the job. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's totally coming out.
I don't want to sand all this. It's a little too thick. There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, the glue. Might have to sand the glue. here. Grab my sanding block. Oops. Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Now everybody is breaking. That, is re that really is not gluing. We'd have to fix that. blue are. Pop it off. I'm not sure what that is. It's pretty sharp. Nice. going to glue if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Perfect. Good enough. Debbie says we can barely see what Ruby is doing. Yeah, I'm not set up to go live today. I just on my iPad, which is not the greatest. Uh, it's coming up to three hours. Yeah. Mm hmm. So I'm going to paint that brown. It's going to go on the front here of this. Like so. Ready? Yes, it's going to go on the front. There's going to be lace around here, jute around there, and a bow around here. This fits in here perfectly. The word family, but it definitely needs a paint job. Yes. Yep. But I am going to distress this all around just a little bit with some brown paint. I'm not going to go crazy with it. I just want a little bit of brown to show along the edges. I don't want brown everywhere. But I am going to leave this, let it all dry, let that E6000 dry. Because I have to turn this on its side, and I can't do that while it's uh, that glue's wet. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's just going to start getting out of alignment. So. Mm -hmm. 
I will take a picture of what I made today and post it in the group for you guys. So you Thank can you. see it full. It is really pretty, really, really pretty. It's hanging on the wall and I just love it. You Absolutely watch them spelks. Love. What? Watch the spelks in your hands, the shards of wood. Yeah. And I'm keeping these foam pieces because I am going to put them back onto this. I'm going to put them on this tray, but I'm just going to cut off small pieces just because I don't want this to sit flush on top of the fireplace. So I'm going to keep the foam. I took this off of that glass and... Uh, this was for the glass and I just cut them and put them underneath there. This was on the bottom of that tray. So yeah, that's all she wrote. So I'll see you guys. Okay. Thanks for coming uh, along. Enjoy thank you for evening. having us. Thank you for going live. Yes, it, it was nice. Oh, I love this. This is cute. All right, God bless. Bye, everyone. Bye, Ruby.